Hey, good morning, uh, sports fans. Hey, uh, welcome and uh, thank you for watching uh, the Vada Z and the Land uh, channel. Uh, it's a channel that's about, not about me, it's about a car. Uh, that car is nicknamed Little Red. Uh, is a 1992 300ZX twin turbo uh, that we worked really hard and not just this person speaking but um, other a team of people so you can't build a car to this level by yourself and if you if you did then you can take all the credit I didn't and I don't I don't I didn't want to I don't want to I, I want to be part of a team um, and so a lot of people are responsible for the current state of the art of this vehicle and uh, we thank you um, welcome and and so what's going on today it's a uh, Sunday uh, July 16th um, it's about 6 14 a.m. And, um, and we're on the way to the Rolling Thunder uh, car show in Edmond Oklahoma I uh, don't know much about it haven't been to it before I don't know if it's uh, first annual third 30th uh, I don't know uh, their flyer on Facebook didn't give out very much information, but it is a class show. There are going to be 25 classes, uh, first and second place trophies awarded in each class, and I'm sure they'll have specialty trophies of some kind, and um, and usually best of show is kind of a given. They don't normally put that on a, on a flyer, but also uh, live music from Straight Shooter. I don't know who they are. I hope they do shoot straight. Uh, but it's always cool to have live music at a car show. It just adds a festival atmosphere. Um, it's in the parking lot of the Thunder uh, Roadhouse in uh, uh, West Memorial, uh, Oklahoma City, which is a, an off-track betting site for Remington Park uh, horse race track. And so we've never been there. It's not a place that we would go. Uh, but we know where it is and we're heading there now. So it's uh, registration starts at 9. Uh, we know car show people will be stuck showing up soon. Uh, we just in general, not, not every time. But it's very rare that we're not the first one at a show and that's not an accident. That's by design. We want to get there early, look at the layout, kind of figure out where we want to be. And then when the car show hosts, uh, the people actually running uh, the organizers and then actually run the show get there we'll have a spot picked out we'll make sure it's okay with them we'll know where we're gonna set up and then we can get set up get our uh, 10 by 10 shade set up uh, get the t-tops off uh, configure the Z for show get the placard out and then do some final detailing that final detail would be in this case, interior, we'll touch the, everything in the engine bay one more time, and, uh, and most importantly, we'll touch the wheels up again. But what has already happened this morning, at starting at about 3:15 a.m., uh, was about an hour and I think it about an hour and 20 minutes uh, of detailing, which includes a complete fresh coat of wax on the entire seat, um, and then uh, tire dress the tires, and then the wheels. Are, are no joke. So these are a multi-spoke uh, inky tuner series TSVs that gloss black that people love. Now, I love them, uh, but anyone that thinks that they stay shiny like that uh, and clean without a ton of work just doesn't own a pair, a set, not a pair. Uh, they're very, very uh, tedious to clean, um, and I don't just clean the spokes of the wheel. I I spray inside the entire drum of the wheel and clean the entire thing and and that matters and I, I've actually had people comment at car shows hey you clean your entire wheel that's most people don't do that I, I basically just respond I'm not most people I just try to detail to the very best of my ability and um, it's it's painstaking it's tedious it's hard work it's not fun being down on your haunches you know cleaning wheels uh, each wheel probably takes about, I'm thinking about 10 minutes total time, uh, but the result is worth it. Um, and so the Z is detailed right now. We're only driving about 10 minutes, uh, but we'll still do the wheels again. They'll touch them up because uh, brake dust, just driving, even the shortest distance, the wheels will need to be touched up. So we'll do all that, then we'll uh, 
we just, you know, start enjoying the show. So we'll walk around and look at cars when everyone gets there. And uh, before voting begins, we'll walk around and kind of pick out some cars to show you. I, I don't, uh, as you, if you've watched this channel and watched car show footage of, of mine, I, I don't GoPro the entire show, not interested in it. There are people that do that and uh, you can probably find their channel. That all they do is they walk up and down. They go pro every single car at every single event. I think that's fantastic. That's what they do. I don't do that. That's not what my deal is. Uh, I look for cars that I think are really cool, rare, um, and, and that you're just not going to see. And that I've seen maybe for the first time at a car show in Oklahoma. Um, and then I go pro those for you and share them. Things like 66 Plymouth Barracuda, you know, um, 65 Shelby Daytona GT Coupe. She's just, she's just not gonna see it. You're never gonna see it at Walmart. It, you're not gonna see it going down the freeway because people with very rare cars like that, that show them only bring into car shows, usually on a trailer. It's just a rare sight, so we'll capture that for you. and. Uh, maybe some fans, hopefully we get some fan footage of some people that love Little Red. We'll ask them to come step in and introduce themselves and uh, I want to make that kind of a staple of the channel. So more to come, Rolling Thunder Car Show, Sunday, July 16th, Edmond, Oklahoma. See you soon.